Jonah. What's wrong with that man? Uh, what man, Jeremy? He looks like Jesus, but he has a cardboard sign. Well, Jesus wasn't a beggar. Uh, come on, we're gonna be late now. You boys, run along so you're not late. I, I got to get to work at my own school. Glad she doesn't work here. I know. That would suck. Mm -hmm. I could buy everyone enough candy for a year. Uh, I'm sure you could, Nick, but let's try and win the contest. <sighs> Whatever, I'm easy. Okay, also remember our field trip to proper high school tomorrow for the Valentine's Day play with the big kids. Fun, huh? Okay, finish up your cards. Woohoo! Yeah! yeah. Yes. There are many Valentine's stories, but the real story of Valentine's begins in the third century with an oppressive Roman emperor and a humble Christian martyr. I am Claudius II. How dare he defy me? That Christian Valentinus will be executed! But your highness, if you just let me speak to him, I'm his lawyer, his only hope to save his own life. Perhaps I could change his mind. I'll give you three weeks, Asterius. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Claudius II ordered all Romans to worship 12 gods and put the Christians to death. But even that didn't stop Valentinus from being a Christian. So he was a prisoner in a dungeon. Who are you? I am Arturius. I'm here to free you, Valentinus. I've heard of your great power and my daughter, Julia. She needs your help, for she is blind. Yes, it is true, I am blind. Wow, sucks to be you. Yes, it does. Ooh, I believe you guys said something about freeing me. Uh, yes. Um, it's been it's been known that you can help the ill and the dying. So if you can prove your power to me, you shall be set free. Come here, my child. <laughs> Man. Who the hell are you? You think you should be driving in this condition? I'm the damn mayor. What's it to you? Here. What's this? I take it. You'll know what to do with it when the time comes. Oh. 
I'm sorry, Flora. I don't know what we can do. It's my fault. I lost my kids' Valentine's Day cards. Please don't punish them because of my mistake. I'm not punishing the kids. It's just the competition has to go on. I'm sorry. What am I going to tell the kids? I don't know. It's okay, Miss Prudende. It's just candy. But you kids worked so hard. I could buy some for everyone. He is so my bestie. Thank you all for coming to our Valentine's play. The children have worked so hard. But they couldn't have done it without all of you, the parents, the faculty, and their fellow students. What the hell am I doing here? You know what you have to do. Search deep. It's all up to you. You can do it. Hey, Thorne. Hi, Clancy. Uh, Mr. Rose, we're late. You go ahead, Sandra. Go on in. Tell Miles I'll be right there. Yeah, somehow I ended up with this. Any guesses? None at all. That's what I figured. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have an idea. I think I know what to do. Follow me. Come on. During the last weeks of Valentine's life, he read stories about Rome's history to Julia. He taught her about nature, arithmetic, and God. She saw the world through his eyes, trusted his wisdom, and found comfort in his quiet strength. I am seeing the world through your eyes. I trust your wisdom and find comfort in your quiet strength. Great, Julia. Next, I think I'll teach you about deja vu. Valentinus, does God really hear our prayers? Yes, Julia. Here's each and every one. Excuse me, Miss Pagante. Nick, wait, it's almost over. Do you know what I pray for every morning and every night, Mr. Valentinus? Oh, please, call me Valentine. I pray that I might see. I want so much to see everything that you've taught me about. God does what is best for us if we only believe in him. I do believe, I do. They sat quietly together, praying silently, until suddenly there was a brilliant light in the prison cell. I can see! I can see! Great! Now I can't see! It's a miracle! <sighs> Praise be to God! Miss Pardente, Miss Pardente. Okay, Mick, what is it? Miss Pardente, I know where our cards are. I know what we could do with them. Oh, Mick, honey, it's too late for the contest. The contest doesn't matter. We can do something even better. Flora. What are we doing? I don't know. Where are we going? I have no idea. Isn't it great? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm crazy. Yes, don't you get it? Yeah, I do. It's wonderful. 
Will you be my Valentine? Russell? Is that you? You came back to me. You haven't changed. Except when you're younger. So that means I'm younger too. I love being younger. I love you, Russell. I love you too. I'm so glad you came back. Please, stay this time. Please, be promise. Thank you. In the end, our trees couldn't help Valentinus. On the eve of his death, Valentinus wrote one last note to Julia, urging her to remain close to God. He signed it, from your Valentine. His death sentence was carried out the next day, as he was executed February 14th, 270 AD. It is said that Julia planted a pink blossomed almond tree near his grave. Today, the almond tree remains a symbol of abiding love and friendship. Every February 14th, St. Valentine's Day, affirmations of love, affection, and devotion are exchanged throughout the entire world.